Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday night cooking class night. Can you believe that's February in five days? I say that every time we cook in class. Every time we cook in class. <laughs> I just can't believe where the time goes. It's wackadoodle. So we are going to start making our din din. Tonight we are making spaghetti squash. What are they officially called? Burrito bowls. Should be delicious. We did a little poll earlier to see who's had spaghetti squash before and who's at their first time. And most of us have had it before. I'm just mind blown. And I'm so excited for the people that are trying it for the first time. I'm proud of you, you guys. Sometimes it's scary to try new food. And I'm so proud of you for taking the plunge. Good job. We are also making pie crust cookies. I love pie crust so much. I could eat it with everything, with everything all the time. I don't need the pie. I just want the crust. So that being said, Let's get started. First things first, we got to wash our hands. So washing hands, 20 seconds, warm water, soap, all sides, front, back, tops, don't forget your thumbs, all the things. Here we go. Healthy. All right. All right. <sighs> Hi. <laughs> I see we have a Justin. Justin, I want to know who you are. Identify yourself. Are you Justin or are you someone else? Sometimes we have other names, you know. All right, my friends. So as per usual, I didn't get all my stuff out, but sometimes I feel like that's okay because maybe some of you need to get your stuff out too. So it just gives us time to do what we need to do. So first things first, we gotta get this squash in the oven because it takes a little bit of time to cook and then we're gonna come back to it later, you know, to do its thing. So that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with our squash. Um, mm -hmm. Let's talk about our squash, shall we? Spaghetti squash. A couple of you asked me, like, how many would this serve and what kind of, what size, whatever. This is a smaller spaghetti squash and it's still gigantic. If I'm making this for just Phil and I, it's probably gonna be like a lot of food. <laughs> so, um, but if, if it's your first time and it's mysterious about the squash, we could totally um, make some rice to go with it or whatever, have some chips because it's a burrito bowl, whatever, a little salad on the side, you know. But this is the size I'm using. Here's the size of my hand. It was one of the smaller ones in the store. So, sticker. <gasps> you know what my sticker reminds me? I name a garbage bowl. Garbage bowl. Talk about cooking class. This is my favorite thing in the whole wide world, my garbage bowl. I just like to have it right here on my counter so I don't have to walk back and forth across my kitchen the whole time. You don't have to use one, but just really when we're sitting or chopping veggies, it's so nice to just dump all your stuff. It's not a bean bowl, I don't think. No, it's Ikea. I'm sure it's not a bean bowl. <laughs> so there's two other things I wanna make sure that we discuss real quick as a group. Um, I just want you all to know that when we do programs in person, and this is how I treat it virtually too, we're a family, we're a unit, we're a group, we're all in this together. So we have people out there cooking with us, with me, whatever, on their own, people with family, people in group homes. We have a whole combination of folks with all different levels of support. So sometimes people need a little extra time to catch up and we wait and that's just fine. So if you're one of those people that you move really fast or you have a lot of help in your kitchen or whatever, just hang out, do your dishes, wipe the counter, do whatever, you know, that kind of thing while we wait. But we never leave a man behind. And that being said, this is all about independence, right? We want our friends to be as independent as possible. So right now I'm talking to you moms, dads, care providers. We are like this. You got it? How can I, right? We're there for support and safety, but we're not there to do the work right? Unless it's needed, unless it's needed, of course. But independence, independence. I have moms tell me all the time they're surprised 
by how well our friends do. You guys are amazing. So last thing is, I can't see you guys. I wish I could, that would be really fun, but it would just would take way longer if everybody was talking at me. We'd be here all night. So I can't see you. So I have to trust that you're using hot pads, you're being safe with your knives, et cetera, right? You've got, I'm gonna give you all the directions, you follow along and you're safe. And that's it. And then we all, we all win. So that being said, let's start squashing. Spaghetti squash. We're gonna rinse it off because I don't know how many thousands of people have touched the squash where it's been. And we're gonna put a fork in and a knife in and all this stuff. So rinse your squash. So funny. All right. And we're gonna soften this thing because the rock. We're gonna soften it by throwing it in the microwave. So we're gonna get a sharp knife. I'm not gonna give you my knife lecture yet. That's coming. So we're just gonna get a sharp knife. We're just gonna use a steak knife. And we're gonna cut a couple of holes. We're gonna stab a couple of holes in this thing. Stab it, stab it. Just look like four or five holes around the outside. This is to let the steam out. Because, you know, fruits and vegetables have a lot of moisture in them, lots of water. And when you put something sealed up like this full of water in the microwave, it just, we don't want that. We want the steam to come out. So we're poking a couple holes in this baby. And we're gonna stick it in the microwave for four minutes. If you have a giant one, you might wanna do five minutes, but four is probably fine. It's just enough to soften the skin, that's all. Here we go. <laughs> so big. Four minutes. I have a new microwave, I don't know how it works. <laughs> okay, it went to four. Okay, fine. And then we're gonna turn our ovens on. I gotta empty mine out. Oh, I'm a hair baby. Okay, we're gonna turn our ovens on to 425. 425 preheating. 425, we have a squash in the microwave for four minutes after you put some home. And we got an oven going for 425. And we're gonna get our pan, our pan. Who's <laughs> pan? We're gonna get our pan ready. Okay, all right, all right, all right. You guys, we got a big old posse up in here tonight. Love you guys. Okay, so we're going to get either a baking sheet or a baking dish, depending on how big your squash is. I think I'm gonna need a baking sheet. Yeah. Yeah. So noisy. I'm gonna do a baking sheet with um, edges because of liquid, you know, so it doesn't fall all over the place. If your squash is small and you wanna use like a casserole dish kind of thing, that's fine too, but we need one of these. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, what we're gonna do, we gotta prep our pan. We're just gonna put some olive oil on here so that our squash, doesn't stick. It's like mystery on my phone. So let's grab our olive oil. You guys know how like how much I just like to use my hands. Ha <laughs> ha, sad. You're the best. Um, I'm just gonna sprinkle some olive oil on here and rub it around my hand. You, you can use cooking spray if you want, but I just like my olive oil. Just a little rub down. And then of course I have to wash my slimy hands. That's okay. It's not gonna hurt me. So, let me know how you're doing. 
Well, honestly, we're just going to hang out. I'm not even going to bother. Don't let me know how you're doing. When your squash is done in the microwave and your pan is ready, then let me know. Mine still has a minute. So I'm thinking, oh, you are. I'm thinking you guys are right with me. You have a little minute or so behind me. Well, now we can have our knife chat. Let's have a knife chat, friends. Friends, <laughs> there's an ass. When we're chopping, especially this guy, we want to use a big knife. And the reason we like big knives is because you really have more control. When you use these little baby knives on big giant things, you have to work really, really hard. You have to saw, you have to hold things really hard. And that's when people cut themselves because it's just, it's too much work. So a bigger knife, yes, it's giant. Yes, it can be scary, but you have more control. So I'm gonna go get my giant knife. I'm gonna use my regular King Daddy. King Daddy, that's what I call him. Okay, my squashy. All right, he's sweaty. He's steamy, so be careful. <gasps> you might want a hot pad. So, when you're, you guys are just like, look at you. Look at you. So good, so many. So my favorite thing is friends, we put like the letter. So I'm gonna put an S for squash when he's out of the micro. Mm -hmm. So fun. Mm -hmm. Here comes my S's. S for squash. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep. You guys are good. Good job, friends. Good job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who am I missing? I don't know. Okay. Let's see. Let's give her a little count, shall we? Let's see how many S's we got. Whoa, we got so many S's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Those are good. Good. Wait a few more minutes. And remember, your squash is not supposed to be like squishy. It's just supposed to be. Hot. <laughs> hot a little hot pad. So how this is gonna go, friends, I'm just gonna ramble at you for a minute because it's my favorite, is we are going to cut this baby open and stick him in the oven. He's gonna cook for a bit. And while he's cooking, we are going to prepare the other things. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So it's a lot of, it's a preppy night. Preppy. <laughs> we like to prep. We're good at it. All right. I think we're close. I think we are close. All right. All right, friends. Let's do it. Shall we? Let's do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our giant knife and we're gonna cut him from tip to tip, right down the middle. Mine's hot. Rest my hot pad on here. You may have to. Let's see here. Uh -huh. Stab it, and then it'll go right through. Stab him right in the middle. Wah! I feel like I'm wrestling. <laughs> We're gonna have to work, friends. We're working. Hot. There we go. We're moving now. There we go. There we go. Mm -hmm. Come on, squash. I see you. I see you trying to fight me. I'm going to win because I got the knife. The stem. He's a beast. There we go. 
there we go. We're moving, we're grooving, flip them over. There it is. It's done. <laughs> All right, perfect. Perfect, perfect. It smells a little pumpkin-y. All right, now we need a spoon. Just a regular old spoon. I got a little bit bigger one. Just a regular spoon. And we're going to scoop the seeds out. I'm going to bring my garbage bowl closer. My squash is warm. So we're just going to take our spoon and scrape the seeds out of the middle. Kind of like a pumpkin. So we get the little, little insides. And I hold your, your cooler now. Got all those strings out, all those seeds out. Come on, come on out, babies. Wash it more. I'm gonna set her down. I'm gonna set you down. My oven's ready. Watch them. It's like carving a pumpkin, which I love. There we go. Now, mind you, spaghetti squash shreds because that's it looks like spaghetti. So it's supposed to. That's what we want. Next. Next. Uh huh. That's great. It's great. I just kind of can't get over how big the small spaghetti squash is. Come here, baby. Everybody out. Ha ha! Ha. Get out. This is the stuff you don't want. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm close. How's it coming out there, friends? Are you string free, seed free? Everything's an S. String, seeds, and squash. Don't put S again, I'll get confused. <laughs> okay, let's get you out of here. go. I have a couple of strings in here that just don't want to quit. There we go. I'm going to call it good. So remember, it's shreddy on the inside. So you're going to smell like shreddy. All right. We can put these babies on our pan. Whoa. Hey, your baby. All right. Now what we're going to do we need our salt and pepper and our olive oil. I have strings on me that just won't quit. Go in the sink. There we go. Got it. Okay, salt and pepper. Salt and pepper, olive oil. And we're just gonna season our squash. Does it when I do my close ups? Oh, that's so weird. Good to know, Karen. Thank you. When I come closer, my volume goes down. Oh, you know why? Because I was holding the squash close. So it was blocking. It's the squash, I think. I think. But thank you. Good to know. Okay. So, olive oil, salt, and pepper. 
we're just going to do a little sprinkling, a little sprinkling. So we're going to put this on here. We're going to put this on here. We're going to rub it in, rub it all over. Uh -huh. I just feel like I want a little more. I just do. Okay. And then we're going to sprinkle salt and pepper. But I'm going to go wash my oil hand now. Okay, and with your salt and pepper, you're just gonna do a little sprinkling. Don't do, don't get wacky. You know, it's just a flavor. Remember, it's one of those things you can't take off. You're gonna do that more later. A we'll sprinkle, a we'll sprinkle. Tap 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 tap. tap. Woo. Nice, very good. And then he's going in the oven. Oh, very good, Milo. Awesome. Okay. So these babies are going in the oven. And they're, we're going to set a timer for half an hour. You can always check them. You know, we'll, it says for 30 to 45 minutes. So we'll see. I'm gonna stick them in here. Timer for 30 minutes. And that. It's our squash part. It's so magical. So when your squash is in the oven, give me an L. Thank you, Jack. Timer for 30 minutes. When you're in, give me an O. I'm going to decide what we're going to do. It's so great. So great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, here comes the O's. Oh, do you hear what I said? I said, oh, here comes the O's. Amanda, you made it. We just put our squash in the oven, spaghetti squash. Cut it in half, scoop out the seeds. I don't know what you missed, Loretta, because I don't know where you went. I don't know where you left, but we cut our squash in half, scraped out the seeds, put some olive oil, salt, and pepper in the oven for 30 minutes. Right, Elizabeth? Yeah. In the oven for 30 minutes, the oven is at 425. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's count some of those. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just love mine up. You could do it upside down or I've done it. I've seen it done both. I left mine up, but my husband always cooks it down. It's just a sprinkling of oil sap, just enough to kind of like give it some, some love, some moisture. <laughs> but yeah, when my husband cooks spaghetti squash, he always puts it upside down, but this recipe didn't say to, so I don't think it matters. We need the inside to cook. So why not? No matter. It don't matter. I lost count. I'm going to do my nose again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Remember, if you're cooking with me, you're putting an O. Once your spaghetti squash has been seasoned with salt and pepper and put it in the oven for 30 minutes. Good to know, Karen. Ooh, there's 11, there's 12. Nice, nice, nice. Good. Keep them coming, friends. I'm gonna have a sip of water. Mm -hmm. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna prep, we're gonna prep our filling and if our squash is still cooking, we'll prep our cookies. This is all about having dinner when it's hot. You know, you know what I'm saying? Job Amanda, 
13, 14. Whoop, whoop. Good job, everybody. Keep them coming. Keep the O's coming. I'm going to move my salt and pepper. I don't need you right now. I'm going to you. Keep the king daddy knife. I just had a flashback, you guys, of um, when I paused recording once and then I didn't unpause it. <laughs> So I had to fake the second part of class again. Remember that? That was a good one. <laughs> That's smart, Michael. That is smart, smart, smart. All right. So I'm just going to wait another minute or so for you to finish putting oil, salt, and pepper on your squash and put it in the oven. Yay! I think. Okay, no problem, babe. I will. Um, I can, the video will be on YouTube tonight. I'll get. I usually get it up within like half hour, so you can just watch it after basketball. You know, it'll be good. All right, then, friends. Let's prep some veggies, shall we? We're gonna get an onion, a bell pepper, and a zucchini. Onion, bell pepper, zucchini. The zucchini has to be washed, and so does the bell pepper. And that will be that way in many hours. Duke, you're Wash my little. Your squash is popping, huh? Oh, that's fun. <laughs> it's cooking all right. So I tell you guys this every time we cook with bell peppers. I hate bell peppers. I'm prepping it with you so that we can prep together, but you will not see me cooking this bell pepper with my food. It's going in a separate pan. And I know someone's going to ask me, so I'm going to say it a hundred times, but I'm going to be cooking this bell pepper separately because I hate bell pepper. <laughs> oh, there you go. That works. Okay, so let's do some preppy. Prep, prep, prep. I think I'm going to get, I'm deciding if I want like a little bowl to put stuff in. Do we do? Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do little bowls because I want to. You don't want, if you want to put all your stuff in one bowl, go ahead. I'm going to separate mine. I'm getting a zucchini bowl, an onion bowl, and a bell pepper bowl. But you can also mix it all together if you want. I like to cook my onions separately, as you know, because I like it to cook down. So I'm going to start with the onion because I'm going to. We only have to do a quarter of an onion, friends. They are going in the pan together. Yes, yours are. My bell pepper's not. <laughs> but yes, they're all going in the pan together. So we only have to do a quarter of this onion. So I'm still going to cut the top and the bottom off. Cut the top and the bottom off. Remember, you want to use a big knife to have control. So you're not working too hard. The skin that falls off, I'm just taking it off. Now you have an onion with a top and a bottom. So I'm going to stand it up on the flat side. And I'm going to cut them in half after I get all the skin off my cutting board. Okay, there we go. Cut them in half. Top to bottom. Boop. And then I'm going to take this half, lay it flat, and cut him in half. And that's all we need. So this part, I'm going to put in a container in the fridge. So again, we cut the onion in half, and then we cut that half in half. That's all you need. Where did the onion go? I'm so freaky about 
Disappears and lets you guys. I love them. There you go. So with our little baby bit of onion that's left, we're gonna chop it up. So I'm gonna peel off the skin on the outside. Sometimes there's a little extra layer of skin. I like that part off. It didn't, it's not there. So here's how I'm gonna chop this one. I feel like I want you guys closer. Hi. Come closer. <laughs> All right. So it's just easier to keep it on the flat side, right? Just keep it on the flat side. And I'm just gonna hold it all together with this hand. So now I'm just gonna go down and cut stripes. Just little stripes down the onion. Keep moving your hand out of the way. If it starts to get hard to hold, which always happens to me, I like to turn the whole thing around and then I can kind of hold the other end better. I don't know why it works like that, but it's just how it works for me. Very good. It's harder with just a quarter. <laughs> so, it's, you know, we're just gonna make a little mess. So now I'm gonna turn this thing half turn. I'm gonna pinch as much as I can together and try and go down and make stripes. If it starts falling all over the place, that's fine. Just let it fall. Then you can just cut it like this. It's all good. Just choppy chop. I always feel so professional when I cut like this. Like you hold the front of it down, pick the back up, and then you just go up and down, up and down. So you hold that front part down. I feel so professional. And those of you that know me well, you know how professional I am. Okay. I'm gonna put this baby in a bowl because I want you. You don't have to. It's just what I want to do. Just what I want to do. Plus, if our squash, we still have quite a bit to go on this squash. I can see us making our cookies before we cook this stuff. Um, because I want this to be hot. I want it to be hot. I don't want to have it sit on the stove forever while we're waiting, you know. Bing bing. Bing. Okay, onion in the bowl. I'm gonna wash my onion hand. I didn't cry tonight, you guys. The red onion cried. You cried. I thought I was gonna cry, and I made it. Because you know it's an onion. All right. Woohoo! No crying. Yes. All right. When you're done with your onion and you're ready for your bell pepper, give me a P, a P for pepper. No rush, no pressure. Oh, you guys are so high five, friends. Boom, boom, boom. You guys impress me so much. Wow, oh, I mean, really, you guys, that was wild. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 12, 13, 14, 15. Dang, you guys. There's another one, two more. Guys. You guys have to know that this is love. This right here is love for you and my husband. Elizabeth, how you feel about the squash? You're making it for your parents, you're so good. Making this for me. All right, friends. Nice job, Tina, Jamie, everybody. I know you do. Okay, so. Bell pepper time. We only have to do half of the bell pepper. So I'm gonna stand him up on his end. I just hit my steps goal for the day. Good job. Okay. So we're going to stand him up on an end so he's not rolling around. 
I like the stem end. The other side's rolling. And I'm just going to cut it right. It's like a tooth. I'm going to cut right in between two teeth. Boom. And this guy, going in the fridge. Oh, I guess I could have put him back in the bed. Little onion skin. No, you're right. <laughs> okay. Bell pepper in half. So the inside of the bell pepper, I'm going to try not to get too close so you can still hear me. But there's seeds and there's this weird like white lining thing. We're just going to rip that out with our hands. So I'm just going to stick my fingers right in there, right? And just rip it up in the bowl. And then I peel off all this. It's really thin, this little white stuff. Just peel this out. You get a nice little hollowed out bell pepper. Cute, cute, cute. Hey, someone new joined us. Hello, whoever's new. That's fun. Okay, we're gonna chop this baby. Nice job, Rolly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. We got ourselves a hollowed out. I'm gonna give Rolly a second. He just finished with his onions. Okay, so we pulled that middle part out, cut him in half, middle part's gone. We're just doing half. Now we have this little baby. And the best way that I like to cut it is to cut it into strips and then cut the strips into little baby chunks. So I just kind of hold on tight to him and just cut one little strip off. Another little strip off, and then you just kind of roll it as you go. You just tip it. And you just kind of smash these little, like this little part, and just smash it in. Smash it in. Give it a chop. You own this pepper. You got the knife. There we go. Little strips. Sometimes now, I'm not even eating this. Why do I care? But I don't like all this white stuff. Yeah. So then you can just take a couple at a time, a couple of strips at a time, and chop them up. Little baby choppers. And you can just kind of this hand, I'm just pushing them towards the knife. Just slide them down, slide them down. And they're just like little pieces. Little pieces. That's gigantic. If you see some gigantor ones in there, go get them, chop them up. Again, you can do like two or three at a time if you want, or you can do one at a time, whatever makes you happy. And I just chop them, chop a piece off, and then just keep pushing them in with the other hand. Push them in, push them in. It's the little curly part you have to go extra for. There we go. Little curl. Takes pictures of prep, friends. <laughs> Take pictures of prep for parents and uh, you know support people. Give me some choppy pictures. I love pictures. If you're by yourself. No. Just look. All right. When you got this all chopped up, I'm just looking for big pieces. Not that it matters. I'm not eating it. I'm going to put it in the bowl. Whoop. Ew. <laughs> and now I'm definitely washing my hands. Ooh. Is the sauce stuff rated question? Ask me that again, Sav. I don't know what that means. My husband just said, yeah, I'm from the other room. <laughs> I'm even going to rinse my knife off because I don't want it on my zucchini. Okay.
separated. Oh, um, I have these. Oh, that's fine, Elizabeth. I have my stuff separated just because I'm going to cook it separate because I don't like peppers. So you can put it all in one bowl if you want. One big pile, whatever you want. Watch that bowl you want. Hopefully that's what you were asking. Pictures coming. You guys are good. All right, now our pepper is done and we're ready for zucchini. You know the drill. Give me a Z, baby. Two, five, six, seven. Ooh, I'm not going to look away. Is it raining? Oh, I looked away. Eight, <laughs> nine. I think it's raining. I think it's here. I can't look. Yeah, I can't. Oh, maybe not. It's going to rain all day. Oh, now I know, but I know who was last. Okay, here we go. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I didn't lose my place. I didn't, oh, dang, 17, 18. <laughs> you guys tried to get me. I tried. <laughs> okay, we're waiting for a couple more. You guys want some prepping. It's not a mega, mega, <laughs> mega prepper night, preppy night. Next time it's gonna be though, but it's gonna be so good. I've been staring at the soup recipe for so long, the Italian wedding soup. Mmm, it's got little chicken meatballs and 19. Um, little chicken meatballs and little noodles. I'm like, oh, this looks so good. Italian wedding soup, 20. You guys are awesome. It's sizzling. That's good. It means it's cooking. Yep, it's the oil. It's the wetness. It's okay. It's a sizzle. Let it sizzle, baby. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Let's see. I'm going to wait for Rolly and the ladies. Just making sure. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I do so much research, you guys, like while I'm standing here, like zoning out, looks like I'm staring at you. <laughs> Good job, Rolly. Always playing, playing, playing. Okay. If you didn't wash your zucchini yet. Good. Hopefully P means you're done with your peppers, right? And you're ready for zucchini? I hope so. I think so. I think so. Okay, good. <laughs> All right, very good. So zucchini, we are going to chop off the bottom and chop off the top because, ew, right? And then I'm gonna chop it in slices. So I'm just gonna, like we've been doing with the other ones, just push it towards my knife. Just try and keep them about the same size. It doesn't matter if they're super big or super small. Just make sure they're about the same. So we're going to chop them up more. You know, I tell you guys this every time, but like when my husband's making dinner, he cooks mostly. He's a really good cook. They chop so loud. I'm like, shh. And then when I'm cooking with you guys only, I'm so loud. Oops. All right, and then I'm going to stack like two at a time just to demonstrate. But I'm going to take these two. We want small pieces because this is like going in a burrito kind of thing, right? So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to chop it in two stripes. Let me show you how it looks. Two stripes. Can you see them both? And then I'm going to turn it and do it again. So I'm going to end up with like nine pieces. Chop, chop. Because I want little, little pieces. So that's how I'm going to do it. Oh, I almost put it in my garbage bowl. 
That would make me very sad. So I'll show you again. I'm gonna do kind of towards one side, kind of towards the other side. I'll spread it apart so you can see. Maybe. There we go. Right? And then I'm gonna turn it and do the same thing. Towards one side, towards the other side. So that you get a little bunch of pieces. Okay, that's my that's my technique. Also, you can just get wild, just chop mud. So that's how I like to do it. One side, other side. I just got a little excited and did three in a stack and they're just falling all over the place. Showing me I don't get to be as fancy as I wanted to be. It's okay. It's just about having fun, chopping up some veggies. Turn. Scoop. Yes, I think this is all the thread. We're so great. Chop, chop. Well, we got a little, little bit of extra stuff. But this is all we have to cut, I think. I can't believe it. Why would I move my bowl so far away? Chopping zucchini, chopping zucchini. Boop, boop. Again, you guys, I just have three bowls because I'm being weird about my vegetables. You don't have to be weird like me unless you want to be. <laughs> it's fun to be weird. Gives you personality. <laughs> okay. No matter what, a couple pieces just will not come along. They won't every time. Just chasing zucchini. <laughs> it's wild out there. Our poor chickens. <laughs> Sorry, ladies. They'll be okay. They'll be okay. They got a nice area where they live. So when these pieces get smaller, like towards the end, I'm just going to cut them in half, probably. I'm not gonna do these little baby chunks. I don't think, am I? I don't know, we'll see. Is it raining yet? No. Rain yet. Got windy, yeah? Yes, indeed. You show the coup? Um, I scratched them already. Got a little chicken chat. A little chicken chat. All right, friends, boom. When you are done chopping zucchini, you can give me a V for veggies. V for bed. Oh, it's so good. I looked, oh, I looked away. Too late, too late. I'll have to come back for it. I'm gonna come back. Yeah, we're gonna um we're gonna wait. Oh well, yeah, we're gonna wait. Because, 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 because I just want our dinner to be hot. I'm gonna say it a hundred times. So I'm gonna take this. Oh, we are gonna need our knife again later for the cookies, but we don't want veggie all over it. Yeah, mine too. Is what, so I'm gonna wash my knife and my cutting board to get veggie off. You can't sit it over here. Get all the veggie juices off of here. I see you onion bits. You're not going to mess with me. All right. Bye, Amanda. Have fun at basketball. See you tomorrow. I'll put the video up tonight so you can cook after if you want. Yeah.
Okay, let's let's go count some veggies, shall we? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, whoop, whoop, fifteen. We're close. Good, good, good. So in the next few minutes while we're waiting, oh, you guys are good, 16, 17. While we're waiting um, for going to finish up their veggies, we, um, our squashes are gonna start beeping on us. Now, what we want for these babies is we want them to be pretty soft. So I'm gonna grab a fork, so grab a fork. Also grab your hot pad or two. Oh, we don't need this anymore. The black ones will be too much. Right now, I'm just trying to set us up for success so we don't go panic later. We will get to the black ones. Um, so what we're gonna do, um, probably Loretta, cookbook's coming out next week, probably. Um, what we're gonna do when your timer goes off is you're gonna pull out your squash and you're gonna check it with a fork. And you want it to be pretty darn soft. If it's not soft, it's going back in. And it does say 30 to 45 minutes. So it's totally fine if it's not done. Here goes mine. Let's see here. Woo, I'm gonna pull you out. Come on up here, friends. Check you. Oh, no way. No way. No, no, no. And I do think I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip it upside down. Flip. 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 Definitely soft. Oh, that's good. Mine's not soft at all. <laughs> at all, at all, at all. So I'm going to turn them upside down because I want the steam to get trapped in there to soften it more. And I'm going to put it back in the oven. If your guys is soft, great. Leave it out. It needs to cool way down. So. All right. I'm going to set mine for, I'm going to do 10 more minutes. 10 more minutes. So I'm going to wait for a minute or two because I know you guys are all like right there checking squashes. Yep, yep, yep. Four. Yes. Okay. And what I want to know also. As you finish your squash checking, um, is, is there anybody? Oh, yeah. Is there anybody out there that? How do I want to? I just want to know making dessert. So I guess if we get some of are not making dessert, it's up to you. You can do yes or no. Whatever. I just want to make sure that most of you are making dessert, so that I know who I'm talking to. So give me your uh, dessert situation. Mm-hmm. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yes. Yay. Oh, I like the D's. You know how I am. Oh, you raised your hand. You're so good. <laughs> so good. Okay, yeah. okay. So it's most of you. That's what I thought. It depends. I know. That's I was thinking about that too, Martha. So um I think we'll be okay. Because I can talk to you right before you have to leave. I can um talk you through what you need to do. Because you'll be close. I put 10 more minutes, Tommy. Yeah. So squashes are down now. Flat side down. 10 more minutes. So we're going to prep 
the dessert. We're not going to put it in the oven, but we're going to prep the cookies because it's just going to take a few minutes. And then we're going to cook our filling for the zucchini. All right. So I'm going to set these veggies over here. And Martha, you'll be good. You'll be good because the preppy's done. I'll like, I got you. Okay, so we're going to get out our pie crust. Pie crust, I'm starting there. And I just got like, you know, baby in a box. Baby in the box. The recipe only calls for one pie crust. I'm just trying to decide if I'm going to make two or one. I don't know. I'm going to make one. I'll make two. <laughs> Why is that so hard? Okay. And then we need sugar, brown sugar, and cinnamon. And then we need a stick of butter. No problem, Jane. Quick. Stick of butter and a little bowl. Actually, two little bowls. One for butter and one for the goods, the seasonings. And we need a tablespoon and a teaspoon. Tablespoon, teaspoon. I know, that's why I love this so much. My grandma used to make this all the time. <laughs> okay, and then also we need a knife for our bottom. Okay. Jack, you're so good. Jack's been putting in the chat what you need to gather. So we have sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon, teaspoon, tablespoon, butter, two little bowls. So butter, friends. We need three tablespoons of butter and we're going to melt it. So on the side of your stick of butter, there's measurements. So you're just gonna go to three tablespoons and cut it. And cut right through the paper. And then sometimes you just have to rip it. And then we're gonna unwrap this baby, put it in the bowl. Yeah. And then we're gonna put it in the microwave. Oh, I have a message. I can't see it. There it is. Oh, thanks, Jack. The butter melts pretty darn fast. I'm just gonna do 30 seconds and then I'll check it. Three tablespoons of butter. 30 seconds in the microwave. Martha, I'm just so just so you know, I'm like 5:33. All right, we got 22 minutes. <laughs> I just want to like do something, but I won't. I'm not going to. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Get everything open so it's ready. For 30 seconds, do it. No, I saw a big blob. So I would not do 30 more. I'm just going to do 15 more. Oh, what do I do? Stop. New microwave. There you go. <laughs> I know how to use a microwave. It's okay. Flip on my card. Four, three, two, one. And the thing about butter is. Once it starts to melt, actually the recipe even says that soft butter is fine. So mine's almost all the way melted. I'm just going to swirl it, but I know it's soft. It'll be fine, fine, fine.
We gotta mix our topping. Well, filling the goods, the sugar, the stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna call it filling. When you're ready to make filling, give me an F. When you got your stuff gathered, butter's melted. Good. Stuff. <laughs> Thanks, Mariana. <laughs> It's like not really a filling, it's not really a topping. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it's just the goods. The goods. Yay! I love our little communication system. It makes me happy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I know some of you aren't doing it. So nine, ten, eleven. Well, oh, I know what I can do. Mm -hmm. Okay, friends. Cool. And all we're gonna do is mix this goods, the goods, the stuff in a bowl, and then we're gonna put it all together. It's gonna be magical, magical. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just wait for a couple more. Oh, let me give you an update. While we're waiting. I told you this before, but now I have more information. We are doing a second order of our quarantine crew, chefs in quarantine aprons, and also our also our t-shirts, but we're also getting hoodies. I'm so excited. And cookbooks. They're pretty much they're pretty much ready. We're just adding the pictures on. So hopefully next week that flyer will come out so that you guys can get your cookbooks. And like we told you before, in case you missed it, they are going to be like a living, breathing, like a file that'll be, you'll access it via the internet. And every time we cook, we'll just put the new recipe on it. So you'll just have it. It'll be great. All right, friends. Here we go. Ready? Three ingredients. We're doing white sugar, two tablespoons. In the bowl, not with the butter, separate bowl. That's not a tablespoon, Jen. That's a tablespoon. One. My squash is beeping, but it can wait. 30 seconds, I'm gonna kill it. It can wait. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of brown sugar. Brown sugar is the one you want to kind of pack it in. I always like to think of it like a sand castle. Okay. Brown sugar. All right. Put myself away. And then one teaspoon of cinnamon. Boom. And I'm just going to use my teaspoon to stir it up. Oh. Smells like heaven. I'm in heaven. You just got yourself a little mix. When you're done with that, you may need to check your squash again. Hey, you can just stay there a little, little teaspoon. Okay, so if your timer has gone off, check your squash. Here's brown, mine's brown at the bottom too. That's fine. We're not gonna eat the bottom, it's just the holder. 
Hey, okay, mine's brown too. It's just a bowl for the burrito bowl. Oh, I'm feeling soft now. I mean, it's definitely softer, but I think I want five more minutes, I think. I don't know, maybe it's okay. I'm gonna play with it. Maybe it's okay. I just really want it soft. I don't want it crunchy, you know? I think I'm gonna go in for the five more minutes. I think I'm gonna. Personal choice, friend. Mary, you're gonna mix veggies and stuff with it. So I just want mine to be so all the way soft. So I'm gonna go in for five more minutes. But some of you, yours might be soft already. Whatever you think. What we're gonna do is kind of shred it with the fork. See, that's another way to test it. I was kind of doing that, like shredding. And mine will definitely shred, but I think it's still just gonna be a little crunchy. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. I'm just, I know you guys are like check, checking squash, mixing the goods, doing that. Oh, good, Loretta. So if yours is done, okay, this is a double part. Ready? If yours is done, you're going to take it out. That's the first part. The second part is, if you're making dessert, you wanna turn your oven down to 350. If you're not making dessert, you can leave it out and turn it off. I mean, that's what I meant to say. Yeah, 350. Oh, no, I lied. 350 is for everybody because we're putting it back in later. So when yours is done, squash comes out, turn your oven down to 350. Mine's not done. Okay. Good, Loretta. Thank you. All right, friends. Uh, we're going to get out a pan, uh, cookie sheet for our cookie. And if you have it and you want to use parchment paper, you can. You can also spray it with spray. You can also rub your stick of butter on here if you want to. It's really just because the sugar might get melty and then it'll crystallize and put it hard in on your pan. I did not buy it special. I'm just going to use that one. You don't have to. I would think it was me and I didn't have this. I'd probably just rub the butter on my hand. Because it's butter. <laughs> so, are we ready to cookie? Are we ready? It'll just take a minute. And so I want to get it done for the, uh, you know, the people that aren't doing it. So see for cookie. If you're ready, this part's going to be fun, fun, fun. One, two, three, four, five, six. Woohoo! Oh, weather. Seven, eight. Nice, you guys. I'm blown away by the sounds coming from out of my house. <laughs> Very good. Hi, Chris. Good, good, good. Okay, oh yeah, you can still look cool, that's great. Yeah, I mean, it was windy, I can't decide if I hear rain, it's just loud. Okay, 
So we're going to bust open our pie crust and roll it out. Whee! A little flatten. This part is going to be so fun and easy. You ready? Oh, I'm sure. I don't have wind chimes, thank goodness. I don't have a lot of overhang, but I have like a covered like porch thing. It's just like the wind and it's like only open on one, two of the sides. And so the wind like comes in and it's so loud. All right, if you have a brush, get your brush. If you don't have a brush, you can use the back of the spoon. You can use your hand, it don't matter. But we're gonna put this butter on here. Spread all over. Butter makes everything better. That should be a song or a jingle. You may not need all the butter. That's a lot of butter. Yeah, that's a lot of butter. I'm just gonna do that much. Okay. And then we're gonna sprinkle. The goods. <laughs> the goods. I say squash. You always do that when I'm busy. <laughs> I'm going to use this teaspoon still. We're just going to sprinkle. This, if you have a box like I do, you might have enough for both crusts. I think I'm going to. This looks like a lot of stuff. Sprinkle, sprinkle, little stuff. <laughs> Make something for my grandma. It was like always like all I cared about was pie crust. Making little pieces of yumminess. Okay. So there we go, a little coating. Then we're gonna roll this thing back up. They're just gonna start at one end and roll it. It says not too tight and not too loose. Okay. I'm just gonna roll it back up. Wee! Uh -huh. Cookies, and then it says to like tuck the ends in. So okay, sure. <laughs> I just folded it in. And we can we can take our oh I'm gonna use the sharp knife just because. So I'm gonna use the sharp knife for this so that I don't smash it too much. You don't want to like if you're using a butter knife, you're gonna smash the heck out of this thing. So you want to use a sharp knife, and you're just gonna cut it. This is one inch, so you're going to be a nightmare, aren't you? I'm going to start in the middle. <laughs> there we go. Oh my gosh. It's so cute. So it says one inch slices. But I don't know how big that is. So you're just going to cut these into slices and set them out. That's it. And actually, these can go in the oven. I thought they were going to have to wait, but if your squash is out, which let me take mine out. Come here, squash. You're done. Put my oven to 350. Learn that we're going to get you these measurements before you have to go. It's going to be great. Okay. Oh my gosh. I, I have a sinking feeling. But I'm going to eat all of these tonight. Um, we put melted butter on the crust. And then right here, Katina, is the measurements for the filling. Two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of brown sugar, and one teaspoon of cinnamon. You mix that in a bowl. Then you melt some butter, brush it on your crust, sprinkle the goods, roll it up. Yeah, I mean, these are going to be gone tonight. <laughs> Sorry, children. Mama didn't make no cookies. <laughs> oh, these are going to be heaven. Heaven, heaven, heaven. <laughs> All right, friends. That's it. What's that? Whoa, that was a slam. To okay. I gotta make my other one, but I'm gonna do it later. 
because I want to get the other stuff going because someone has to leave in five minutes. I got you. So I'm gonna throw these babies in the oven. 15 to 20. That means I'm gonna start at 15. I'm gonna look at my block. I, was, I like my stuff to not be burnt. <laughs> Hello, my alarm clock. It's not timer. I might do 10. Or 12. <laughs> it says 15 to 20, but I'm going to be so sad if I open it at 15 and they're brown. <laughs> so I did 12. <laughs> That's what I did. Okay, I'm gonna make the other one later. I'm gonna put this over here. Okay. I thought it might be a little. Yep. So, Martha, here's what's gonna happen. Sending you the measurements right now for what we're about to do next. And what you're going to do is you're going to cook all this stuff together that I'm sending you. And then you're going to shred your spaghetti squash, mix in the stuff we're about to cook. <laughs> and then it goes back in the oven for 10 minutes. Back in the oven for 10 minutes at the 350 to heat it up. Sprinkle some cheese. Done. Okay. If you need me, you know how to find me. Mm hmm. All right, friends. So cookies in the oven. 10, 15 to 20. I like 12. You're welcome, Martha. And then we're going to. Cook our burritos. So, when you are ready for burrito cooking, give me a B. That means cookies are in the oven and we're ready to move on. Squash is out, <laughs> means that too. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Eight, maybe, maybe Amanda, you gotta remind me. I can't do anything like my brain. Once I get out of this, once I turn this off, you guys, I'm just like, a, <laughs> anything you ask me that like has to happen later is gone. It's gone. Need this? What do we need? We do not need our tablespoon anymore. Looks like we got burrito people ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Oh, Chris. That means we can bring back our veggies. Oh, no, I can't do anything like that right now. No way. Sorry. All right. Um, okay, I can erase this. Uh huh. Uh -huh mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let me write down some measurements on here. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's some more. Whoa. Don't look away while you're writing, Jen. Thank you. Forty teaspoon cumin. If I write S and P, you guys know what that means, right? Salt and pepper. 
I'll say it later too, though. Okay. Oh, slam. You guys are awesome. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. You guys are the best. All right, friends. So what we need to do, we have one more thing to prep, and that's our black beans. So let's grab a can of black beans. Can of black beans. We gotta rinse them out and drain them. I'm just gonna use a strainer because it's a nightmare otherwise. But you can do the whole water in the can trick if you like. I don't mind. Like And we're gonna open our black beans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take it to the sink. Don't be careful with the can. Don't cut yourself on the ringing. Sharp, 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 sharp. I'm gonna dump this in here and run some water on it. All right, we're just gonna leave it in the sink right now because I don't want water dripping everywhere. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. And we need to get out a pan to cook our veggies in. So we're just going to get a skillet. I'm gauging what size skillet I want. I'm going to get a big one. I'm getting a big one. I'm going for it. Big skillet. And then also, as a reminder, I'm cooking my bell pepper separately. Because, ew. All right, S and P. Year later. Year done. Remove my squash. All right, this extra skillet is for my bell pepper because I'm crazy, I'm weird. I'm weird. Okay, friends. So I'm gonna start the onions a little ahead of time. The cookies are in the oven, Mark, and I set them for 12 minutes and we'll check them. So in your skillet, a little oil. A little oil, my bell pepper skillet. We're going to put this baby on to medium, I'm going to do medium high, so like seven, medium high, seven, somewhere in between medium and high. And I'm going to dump my onions in. What do I want to mix with? I want to use this guy, little roundy, scrapey, you guy. Onions in. We're done with this bowl. I'm gonna drop my bowl in the dishwasher. If you're doing the bell peppers, which I think you all are, you can put those in there now too. They um, put it on the top. Onions and bell peppers in the pan. Just coat them, stir them around and get the oil on them. And we'll let them cook. Clean as we go. So while our onion is cooking, cookies are still going. 
We're gonna get out our two seasonings that we need. We need dried oregano and cumin. We have so many spices. And they're kind of pronounced by the order and I'm kind of not. There it is. I don't know, I'm writing because I had oregano. Cumin and oregano. And we need. A, um, a quarter teaspoon we also need a half a teaspoon but I'm just going to do this twice so quarter teaspoon is fine Vegetable. Every color has a new one. Swap these. Swapping places. All right. Yes, there's oil in the pan. My peppers are separate because I don't like peppers. So I'm cooking them for my husband, but I don't like them. So that's why mine are separate. You can put all yours together. Honestly, I don't even know why I'm using the same spoon. <laughs> Let's We're just getting these things started. <laughs> My 12 minute timer is about to go off. Temperature medium high, Mark. Medium high or seven. That's what mine's at, seven. 12 minutes did not finish a cookie. So I'm gonna add three minutes. They're very raw. <laughs> so maybe 15 to 20 was right. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So we are cooking some onions and some peppers. I'm doing them separately because I am. I love dishes. <laughs> Let these babies get a little bit softer. We got our cumin, we got our oregano, quarter teaspoon, and we're and we're waiting. I'm very dropsy today for some reason. Dropsy. Uh huh. Uh huh. Go ahead. Wow, that pepper literally just jumped out of the pan. <laughs> You're like, Right. As we are starting to get soft, we're going to throw the rest of this stuff in a second here. If your cookies, if your cookie timers are going off, you just want them to be kind of like golden brown. Um, and you will have the cinnamon kind of oozing out. Golden brown. And if you like, you can kind of touch one. You want it to feel like crust. You don't want it to feel like dough. I added three new 
minutes to my Remember friends, if you're storing or you're checking on something and the timer goes off, don't worry. Just finish what you're doing and then check it. I did not add the cumin yet. It's just the onions and the um, bell pepper right now. What I'm about to, as soon as I check these cookies. How are you looking, baby? Gorgeous. I think they're good. They are good. So we're taking them out. We are still going to use our oven. So if your cookies come out, leave your oven on same temperature. Here's what mine look like. A little bit golden. Woo! Gonna get another palm holder. There we go. Okay, back to stirring. So, let's dump in the zucchini now. Zucchini is going in. Over the dishwasher. And here's our measurement, friends. We're doing a quarter teaspoon of cumin and a half a teaspoon of oregano, which is just two of these. Okay. I'm gonna add another splash of oil. We're extra sizzly in there. Oh my god. Don't mind me while I just move everything around my kitchen. Thank you, Jack. So oregano. It's so loud, my sizzling. <laughs> oregano is half a teaspoon. Instead of using a quarter, I'm gonna do two. And the cumin is a quarter teaspoon. And give that baby a stir. Did you grab a story? Okay, we'll just go right here. Turn those seasonings in. If your pan feels dry, I mean, it feels pretty dry. I'm going to put a little bit of oil in there. Just a little bit I mean, it's so windy. It's like, whoa. It's so windy. What was that? Wow. We're just gonna not worry about the app. Huh? That's wild. Okay. So while the zucchini's getting soft, we have three more ingredients to add. It's coming right now, girl. You read my mind. Oh, we didn't do salt and pepper, or I didn't do the salt and pepper. Well, Frankel, oh, there's no measurement. It just says salt and pepper. Let me stir that in. There we go. Gorgeous. Okay. I don't know why they did this. And it's up to you guys. They didn't use the whole can of beans. 
You can if you want to. So we're going to add in our black beans, our corn, and our salsa. And we're going to turn it off. Once everything is, um, once your zucchini is soft, you're going to turn off the burner. Okay, fine. All right. Putting away my teaspoon. Putting away my salt and pepper. I just feel like things got messy. I don't know how it's good. I'm starting to feel messy. Okay. Oh, okay. So we need, I'm just going to get a half a cup of measuring cup. A half a cup of? <laughs> yes, thank you, Jack. It does, Maria. I'm going to get a half cup of measuring cup. I'm going to go get my corn out of the freezer and my salsa. I told you guys about my salsa. I feel like I did. This is this like roasted tomato salsa. Frontera. So good. It's so good. It's not spicy, mom. It's so good. Okay. I just like having this liquor. We're going to need our black beans. So. Mm hmm. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready for add-ins? <laughs> what are we going to call them? A for add-ins. Oh, my thing's not there. A for add-ins. That means your zucchini is cooked, soft. All your veggies are soft. We have our corn ready, our salsa ready, our half cup measuring cup. Our black beans are in the sink. Corn ready. Nice, you guys are good. Um, if you're, oh, thank you, Tommy. Very good question. If your corn is in a can, then yes, you want to drain it also. Yay, good. All right, friends. So I just have my big old bag of frozen corn because we like to throw it in stuff. We're just going to do a half a cup of corn. Don't worry that it's frozen. It's going in the oven. Don't feel weird. Uh -huh. Oh, we dropped one. The junk drawer. The junk drawer. <laughs> so half a cup of corn. Either from a can or from the freezer. And also a half a cup of salsa. Ooh. Ooh, a little extra never hurt anybody. I'm going to use this little baby to scrape me. Okay. Put my salsa away. And for whatever reason, it tells us to do three quarter cup. So I'm just going to get a scoop. I'm going to get half a cup. And then I'm just going to do half of my half cup. And that leaves this little baby bit. If you want to use it all, I mean, you can. That's what I'm going to say. I'll save it. I'll use it in eggs. Mm. I love black beans in my eggs. You can put it on a salad. 
whatever you want to make. So that's in there. And that's it. We're just going to mix it up. Right, 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 right. Okay. And we're going to mix this baby up. Now we're going to go have some good old fun with our squash. So this is not hot. This is not cooking, right? This is just like the burner's off. So our squashes, we should be able to get our squashes. You are going to use the pan again, but we're going to put them back in the oven. But what you're going to do is with your fork, you're going to scrape. Look at that. It comes right out. I'm going to get close, Karen. You're not going to hear me. Just gonna shred it, and you can shred it right into your pan. <laughs> but you don't want to kill the bottom, you guys. You're gonna put the filling back in here, so be gentle, so you don't rip the bottom. It's warm. You might need a hot pad, or set it down. Set it down and scrape it, and then put it in. Remember. Don't rip the bottom. If you rip the bottom, it's fine, but you'll have to cook it in something else. <laughs> so you're not gonna get it perfectly clean, and that's okay. It's all clean. I'm gonna leave mine like this. Mostly. And then I'm just gonna set it back on the tray. You can do both both pieces like that. Give it a good scraping. Ooh, the storm. Scrapey scrape. Okay, here we go. Dump it in. Oh, so graceful. This is not graceful, friends. This is a mess. I have to keep scraping my fork on the side of the pan. I made a hole in the bottom of my bush. Oh, well. Okay. Thanks, Jack. Yes, Mark. Everything's in. All right. I'm going to wash my hands. We don't need this anymore. And I'm going to get my cheese out. Getting cheese. Did I tell you what kind of cheese to get? Yeah, probably not. It don't matter. It don't matter. I don't want to know what I said. I'm not tell you what I said. Oh, I didn't. Good. <laughs> okay, cheese. For those of you out there who are trying to, I mean, we're going to in a second. Um, Elizabeth, just like for those of you that are trying to cut dairy out of your life because dairy is not very good for you, this Daya non dairy cheese is so good. It melts so smooth and creamy. Oh my God, I can't stop eating it. It's so good. I get it at Safeway. Where else have I seen it? I saw it at, oh, I saw it at Winko. It's really good. Anyways, so we're getting out our cheese. If you're using cheese. And we're just going to use a little bit. It says two ounces. What does that mean? That's nothing. What do I want to do? I'm going to do a quarter cup. We're going to put more cheese on top later. So this is just a little bit. I'm going to do a quarter cup. Quarter cup of cheese. Whatever. Just a little bit. 
We're gonna put some on top. And then we're gonna mix all this together. I'm gonna use my fork because I don't want to kill it. <laughs> I want to use the spoon. So we're just gonna stir everything together. I think we let the um, squash cool. It sat for quite a while. It's been really hot. Okay. It looks adorable. Here's what my mix looks like. Remember, I don't have bell pepper. What's my mix is looking like? Yeah, salsa's in where everything's in. So we're gonna take this little baby and we're gonna throw it in the squash. Yep, yep, yep. It is so wild out there. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna take our little empty squashes. We're going to fill it with our stuff. Plop it right back in there. I'm not going to fill it all the way so I can make sure. I mean, you're going to have plenty for both, but yes, everything's in. Corn, beans, salsa, and a little bit of cheese. Everything's in. So here's how I'm looking. Looking pretty good. I might have leftover filling. It does say to mound it. it well, it says load up the squash bowls. <laughs> So like I said, these are going to be big. There's no way that I'm going to eat all this tonight. There is no way. <laughs> I'm going to get it all in. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Ooh, it's funny. It's all in there, babies. That's a big old mound. <laughs> this is definitely gonna feed two people per half. Oh my gosh. That is wild. Wild stuff. Okay. All right, this is going to the sink. Oh, I forgot to get Phyllis peppers. I gotta mix Phil's peppers. Um, I just did a quarter cup of cheese, Mark. This one's getting peppers. Sounds like the Wizard of Oz out there. <laughs> this is just me mixing in peppers for my husband today. I guess I could have done this in the pan, but you know, what fun would that be? Okay. So now once you got all your stuff in here, I have a pepper explosion. We're gonna put some more cheese on top and back in the oven they go and we're done. Okay, I'm gonna go rinse myself. I guess I don't need to. We're gonna sprinkle some more cheese on top. These are gigantic. <laughs> I hope none of you have to drive anywhere tonight. This is wacky. I don't even wanna go anywhere tomorrow. 
Okay. Very good. I'm just doing a little sprinkling. That'll work. That'll work. And they're going back in the oven for 10 minutes. But I got to wash. All right, back in they go. Ten minutes. Still at 350, we did not change our oven. 350. How's it going? <laughs> Just have one more little thing to share, and then you're welcome to, you know, if you gotta go, you gotta go. We lost some people. Goodbye to the people who left. <laughs> okay, I know of a couple. So, I'm gonna dump my garbage bowl before I turn it on. Yeah. Very handy tonight with all that scraping. Very handy. Look at all this power. I know, Tommy, thank you. There's actually two more steps. You're right, Tommy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here's what's left. There's two things, one's for dinner, one's for dessert. Once your cheese is melted, if you want to, you can put it on broil for a minute or two to kind of like brown up your cheese. I'm probably not gonna do it, but you can if you want. Also, you can put on, I'm gonna definitely do this because I can't get enough. You can slice up some avocado, some sour cream, put more salsa, treat it like a burrito, right? So if you want to, put some of that good stuff on it. And then also for dessert, we gotta make our glaze. Tommy, you're so good. It is optional, the glaze, but also delicious. So why not, right? I think I'm just gonna make a little bit because always there's so much glaze when you make stuff like this. So, um. What we're going to do is, if you want to make glaze, we're going to make it. If you don't want to make glaze, send me your pictures, enjoy your dinner, tell me how it goes. These cookies can be eaten without glaze. Yes, thank you. So, if you want to make glaze, we're going to get a teeny tiny little baby pot. We're going to heat it, melt it. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Goodness, Jen. <laughs> um, the squash are in the oven for 10 minutes. It's just really to get everything warm again. So I would check it um, after 10, make sure it's hot. And then it's good to eat. So we need some powdered sugar and some milk. Powdered sugar and I'm gonna use almond milk. That's what I like. And I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do half this recipe because I have a feeling it's just gonna make a ton. <laughs> so we're gonna need a half a cup and a half a cup and a teaspoon. I'm gonna bring it back over here. I just want to eat one right now. <laughs> You're welcome, Daddy. Okay. Half a cup and a teaspoon. Half a cup. We used one of these earlier, didn't we? So I the dishwasher. Oh, I have another teaspoon. Okay. <laughs> right. How many hot pots does one kitchen need to have going here? 
apparently all of them. Okay. Um, and I'm going to get, you can either get a fork, you're welcome, Nikki, a fork or a whisk to mix, however you want to do it. Baby with. I'll do that. Now, this is like science, what we're about to do. There is measurements. Yes, the squash is in the pan and in the oven. Um, there's measurements, but then what it says is add more, add this, do that. Like you got to do your own. So I'm going to tell you what it says and then we'll play around with it. So we're starting with half a cup of powdered sugar. Yeah, everything's in the pan, Mark, and then everything goes back in the squash. Come on, sugar. <laughs> doesn't want to pour out. There we go. There we go. Wow, that was way too much. We'll just save that in case they need it. And then it says one teaspoon of milk, which is nothing. It's nothing. So we're gonna we're keeping everything out because we need we may need to add stuff. So oh, I guess we didn't need to do it in a pan. We're not cooking it. Oh well, we'll just hold it. You're just mixing your um your milk and your sugar and. It's surprising. It's surprising. The more I mix, hold on, let me hold it like this. The more I mix, it's going in, even with a little bit of milk. You just really want to get all the edges. I just made like tiniest bit. So if you want to make more, here, let me write down. Let me write down our measurements here. We did half a cup of powdered sugar. Yeah, oh, half cup. And one teaspoon of milk. Mine totally worked. But it depends on if you want it like runny. Do you want it thick? You're welcome, Sam. Thank you, darling. So mine is just this little, it worked. If you want it to be a little bit more runny, you can add a little bit more milk. That looks pretty good. And to me, it's a drizzle, right? It's not like frosting, it's a drizzle. <laughs> so I'm gonna see if this covers them for me. I'm gonna see. I'm just gonna like, there's a lid on here. This is when you feel like a fancy baker. I think it's gonna be enough. I mean, if you like mega want frosting, you can always just make more. They're so fancy. <laughs> yes, I'm making a gigantic mess. Oh yeah, I have plenty. I have plenty. They'll have some left and I did all my cookies. But here's how I drizzle. I really want to put this right in my mouth right now. <laughs> I might have to, you guys. I might have to. I got to do it. I got to. Oh, my God. This is all I need. Maybe I should have a cookie. <laughs> Dessert first, you guys. 
Why can't we go get this in? How's that? I'm sure those burritos are great, but I'll go. Oh my gosh. That's probably a bad idea. Wow. Hi, Miss Katina. I'm sorry, I just can't, I can't stop like, I'm so happy. Squash! Watch how they look. Are you guys tasting these? <laughs> Is it just me? The cheese is not melty yet. Keep going a little bigger. Woo! So good. Woo! I'm so happy right now. <laughs> One of my children probably won't even try these. So I might as well just eat them. So you have to try these. They're heaven. This is my crowd. It's like the good stuff, right? I think it has. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, friends, that's it. That's it. Hopefully, your dinner is delicious. Hopefully, you had fun. Hopefully, no stress. We didn't have too much work to do. I don't feel like it was just lots of like, I'm going to go in, <laughs> but we did good. We did good. You're welcome. Um, so if you have any questions, I'll hang out for a few more minutes, but if not, everyone just gets to go eat their din din. It's wild out there. <laughs> All right, everybody. Thanks for cooking with me. I appreciate it. I hope your dinner's great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Send me pictures, let me know how it was. Cookbook coming next week. And uh, in two weeks, we're gonna make Italian wedding soup. It's gonna be so good. All right, my friends, have a good night.